uh, welcome to 30 minute trade uh, um, um, let's see i think today we will go over the um, recommendation stock idea recommendation for the next one week um, um, today um, uh, before that uh, let me introduce myself i am the 17 years of experience as a professional trader i do recommend um, on a daily basis as well as weekly basis so i go through the every day uh, what i recommended and uh, what are the buy point what are the sell point and as well as the what is the uh, stopping price so uh, for that i think uh, it is easy for you so you don't need to go to the you know whole uh, other um, other uh, st um, stocks that I don't recommend. So it's only for you. It is only for 30 minutes to um, execute it. Um, go through some kind of a on a daily just to monitor 30 minutes whole day. So um, most of the hard work I do, uh, I go through the couple of uh, different strategies and uh, filter them and uh, i do give the best out of them um, so that uh, it is easy for you to um, uh, um, execute it and also i um, most of the time i uh, sell i take the risk only five percent and i sell uh, if uh, if anything goes from my point by point five percent is my maximum risk so i cannot take more than that and also uh, normally i uh, my in my portfolio uh, it is around 10 or below 10 uh, uh, most of the time it is five to six stocks i i i hold the position so normally i hold uh, one to four five days that's it i think so uh, if uh, some market is not good, I don't uh, recommend any of the uh, stocks. Uh, with that in mind, we can go to the today. We will review the market, how it works um, for the next how it looks way for the next one week, and, um, and uh, also we uh, let's go to the stocks also as well. Okay, let's jump into the stocks. Here are the stocks um, I'm recommending um, this week. Uh, uh, there, you know, if market is not good, I don't recommend it. I mean, uh, you don't need to re-enter, you don't need to enter uh, because uh, market can, uh, uh, is uh, it's not all, all the time. It is, uh, um, it won't give the opportunity to enter. Um, let's see market summary so um, here is nasdaq composite uh, is two or sold at this time sorry two or bought uh, at this time so this is so it's, it's 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 like it's too uprent so we need some kind of uh, selling at this time um, market um, uh, we'll see i think uh, i'm expecting either this monday or uh, next uh, two days i think it might pull back a little bit so other, otherwise um, it's too heavy so that that's why i don't get uh, too many stocks to enter i normally enter in the uh, if, uh, it should have some resistance point uh, so if it is more than you know 10 percent 20 percent and uh, um, it's like you know continues for five days up i don't recommend to buy those stocks and the spy spy is also same way like a compound nasdaq i think so it is uh, still in uptrend and i'm expecting some kind of a pullback t two one t zero eight is normally stocks above 40 percent ema um, so it tells the um, whether the people are buying or not uh, uh, at this time so if people are buying i buy it if people are selling i sell it uh, that's my uh, very simple uh, thing that i follow so uh, it at this time it is uh, it's in the high range um, uh, at this time normally people sell it uh, institution also will sell it at this time so i am expecting some kind of a pullback or some kind of a range here uh, so last four or five days it is up and on friday it is down um, we need to see if it is pullback here 
um, one or two days uh, then we can re-enter the positions so there is market uh, let's go to the individual stocks MHH um, uh, on a day it looks it is in uptrend um, I didn't get it too many stocks at this time but um, normally I will get more stocks uh, but these are the stocks I still is not um, ready to buy at this time but um, you know any down day we can re-enter this position so it's overall in the weekly chart it is um, good it broke out last week um, any any stabilization or anything is good here still in the range we can we can enter at this time but um, if it market not good then it would it pull back a little bit here how dvt um, this also i recommended last week um, today also it's still in buy range um, so i'm expecting more, one more this week up uh, let's see how it goes on the ENPH, ENPH also very good. Um, I recommended a couple of times. Um, I re entered uh, on Thursday, so uh, still I need to uh, this, uh, let's see whether this will be uh, this week will go up or not. Um, let's go to the some of the stocks. I think uh, uh, how the fundamentals why how it is good. Stack digital. Um, EPS this year is a 2 11 percent and EPS next year also they are guessing very good so we can expect more and um, P by E is also very good 13 points and um, if you see the performance for the last one week is good a week monthly wise 14 percent quarterly one not nine percent of yearly 133 per average on year it is a 88.89 so its performance wise is very good and um, um, it's acting good mm -hmm. RDVT also I recommended I told you earlier also so let's see RDVT red violet um, uh, this year um, EPS this year is 68.1 percent and um, quarterly sales also increasing um, sales quarter by quarter 88 percent is very good sales so the product is good so that means product is good and also the on weekly monthly quarterly everything is uh, up so it's um, good uh, time fundamentally strong and technically strong uh, I, normally I, I i go through the both fundamentally and the technically if both are good then only i will buy it so uh, that is my uh, my kind of style enph enph also i told many times record also i told many times and this week is good uh, to re-enter skyworks Skyworks also is one of this is a leading sector semiconductor um, it it broke the range of the weekly long-term pattern weekly um, still is in uptrend um, any pullback is good to buy right now it's in the range so we can uh, re-enter PAYC um, pay, paycom software the software solution so uh, weekly wise is performing good um, uh, looks awesome so for the last few years still uptrend is very stable company stabilized uh, stock also um, here cup with the handle and uh, it forms the range so it, it might break this week i guess uh, payc let's see how fundamental it is good see yeah, eps next year um 20 uh, 25.315 next five five years to stabilize you know earnings per share is 26.3 it's very good last five years performance 184 sales also quarterly yearly still uh, it is in the same range that's good it's, it's very stable company return 
of equity also 44.34% uh, it's all in positive so it's very good uh, as well as performance for the last one year is also very good so um, it looks very good and also recently they upgraded to the um, buy outward form so uh, it means um, the uh, fundamentally is very strong SGNP uh, I recommended a couple of times last week so it's in the buy range still you can hold it or you can uh, buy uh, more position if you don't enter IVAC also I recommended uh, last week um, still it's in the buy range uh, you can hold it or you can re-enter again this week if uh, market is good MU MU is also good um, it's still in the range uh, if you have any position you can re-enter again TDOC uh, it's up uh, it's forming the range uh, might be this week um, uh, just broke out uh, long term pattern um, this week uh, so weekly wise is very good so I, I see a couple of more up, um, um, upsides on this one let's see TDOC how it is The healthcare this one is healthcare related stuff um, EPS for the past five years is good and uh, EPS this year is good uh, next year also they are expecting 20% uh, that is also good and the performance wise also um, uh, uh, for the last one year is good okay right uh, let's jump into the AOI I recommended last week also here at this time so I think if you take the profit that's good um, um, still it's in the uh, um, buy range if any one positive day here that's good to hold it um, for the next um, one week up uh, we can expect one week up you know be aware of that you know if sometimes it violates um, so only update is good for to enter Rada uh, I I still have this position so last one week uh, um, it's in the forming the range and, uh, and and the long term pattern it broke out and uh, uh, it's still holding at this time uh, so buyers are coming and if you see the weekly pattern very good uh, fundamentally also is very good uh, so yeah so these are the two stocks that i'm recommending um, for the next uh, coming week uh, uh, so remember if any position any of the stock um, below your buy point uh, five percent is the i will take the maximum is five percent so i don't take more than that so that uh, you know there are many stocks you can enter uh, you can choose which are best performing so if it is if you are holding you know the, this uh, or stock then there is no use unless you are wasting your money okay uh, if you like this um, video please subscribe it and also you will get the latest updates um, every day i will post some of the recommendations so um, and also I recommend I analyze uh, all the um, you will get the you know how I am thinking and uh, where to sell it where to buy it how the market uh, is uh, moving so that you will also learn it and uh, so help yourself and um, uh, help others also uh, thanks for watching um, happy trading